Hey, how we doing today, guys? Good morning, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. Um, yeah, so New Girl, um, I'm really... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm into it right now. I love the direction it's going. I, I love it. I really do. I just, I, I, I did not think that I want to be rooting for Nick and Jess, but I kind of am, you know? Yeah. It, it, the thing is, is like, they set it up very early in season one, right? That they yeah. had this romantic chemistry. And you're like, I wonder how long we're going to play with this idea. Mm -hmm. um, but the way they've done it, they, they have been a little bit surprising about it in that they, the, 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 the big kiss, right? Yeah. Which, let, which was... Even though they talked about kissing the whole episode, it was shocking when they did it. What's so shocking? so good on them on yeah. on how they put that together, right? I love how that was structured. It it it, it was um, scandalous because of uh, Sam. Yeah, right. I think so it's kind of the key to that whole thing. Absolutely. Yeah. So 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 the scandal was 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 really big there with it. So it's like uh, I don't know how to feel about this or where it's going. Mm -hmm. But the way that they've backed it up in the last two episodes, yeah. It's like now that like Let every it cool a little everybody bit. Everybody yeah. came clean, yeah, including the Sam. Right, she even kissed Schmidt, <laughs> like just to kind of like you know make right. the whole situation less awkward. Uh, yeah, that was the, in I, a weird way. That, I just thought that was Schmidt. It was weird. weird. It yeah. was weird. Yeah, that 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 didn't do anything for me except that remind me that oh yeah, Schmidt kind of sucks sometimes. He's a grease, even though he was having a a, a good episode there um, <laughs> up until that point. Yeah. But um, now I'm fully on. Like, all right, I, I like where we're going with the show. I'm I'm really on Team Nick and Jess now. I'm like, let's do this. There's there's no complications in the way. They're really being thoughtful about whether or not they should cross this line. Yeah, and 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 how they're feeling. They're both people who suck at expressing their their feelings honestly, the and they're they're trying to feel their way around it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and and I love that. That's I mean that's a really unique story for television, right? It is. There's there's always a will they won't they on a lot of shows. Usually right? rom coms suck on TV. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But but I like the fact that these Except are these them. are people who are not vulnerable enough to really make this work really trying to make this work and i and i love that that's the thing is yeah. that there's nobody really in their way except for themselves yeah exactly you know and, and they're and they're really both trying to be earnest and they're both struggling with it and they're and they're both putting their foot in their mouth and it really works they're deflecting yeah you know what I mean? Every, like they're, they're they're in denial about the whole yeah. situation the, the the first season and a half of this show was kind of led up to this tension which i yeah. absolutely love and then you throw in structure-wise that now we've kind of turned these two into romantic leads, which means Schmidt and Winston both just get to be the comedy wild cards and B and C storylines, <laughs> well, and just got, nail it. Schmidt's got some stuff going on too, obviously. Well, well yeah, I mean, yeah, the CC thing, right? Yeah, they, they they threw that wrench in there where sure. CC's getting married, so but, he, he might have to break up a wedding. Absolutely, <laughs> right? And and I think that's going to happen personally. Yeah, but but I do think that they are the the side story too. They are. I mean, it, it's really Jess's. I mean, Jess's show. And so this thing with with Nick and Jess is really the forefront, right? That is the I a, agree. That's the I A storyline. It, it's definitely what um, people watching the show, mm -hmm. including us, would be most into during this. Is like, all yeah. right, so we have these two people who we thought had chemistry since the show started, and now it's looking like they're 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 testing the waters of taking that into fruition. And and I really think that they are the the A storyline. They are. And the fun part about an ensemble is you can put them on the back burner while yeah, you can do other things too. Know, absolutely, there's yeah. twenty some episodes a season. You know, you can have an episode like a Schmidt and Winston episode. Absolutely, we've seen. And I think it's a really fun formula because the ensemble is as good as the main stars. Completely. Any one of them could be the star of the show. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of curious to see where, one, the wedding thing goes. Because I think that guy... How quick is it going to be? I, I, I looked at uh, Patreon, even though you do you, you handle the comments on I yeah. looked at some um, when I was uploading. And a lot of people were like, I don't hate the guy. I don't like the guy. He's just kind of there. I'm like, I totally get it. And I think that's and I think it's on purpose because I yeah. think I think Cece almost feels that same thing, that same sense, right? I don't hate the guy. I don't like the guy. He's just kind of there. It's like I don't think he realizes that he's kind of the worst. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, he is. Like, yeah. he's not a bad guy. No, you know, I I, know. I, I think he's aloof. I think he doesn't know when he's saying things he shouldn't be saying. And I don't I, think his intentions are bad. No, I I thought like you know like um. Crashing Schmidt's party and turning it into his proposal. I'm like, I'm about that to, sucks, right? Yeah. That, it, but I don't think he had a clue that he was like, oh, I'm the I'm the main character of everybody's story right now. Yeah, he and you're he's not the main character. Yeah, he does. yeah, yeah. He's, he, that is classic main character syndrome with that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's it really like is. you have no idea how backburnered you are, even by your own fiance. Well, even when we first met him, he was crying in a 3D movie, which we think we, I swear we think it's Avatar. Yeah, this has got to be right. I, I have no idea what what movie in 2012. It had to be around then, right? Yeah, it, it was earlier than that, but. Oh, Avatar was earlier than that. 2009. Yeah. So, Anyways, but I, don't, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Yeah. But at any rate, we're going to go and get going here because we've been talking for a sec. Mm -hmm. We do want to go ahead and welcome Phil French, KCA, 
Devoid Zero, and Will to our Patreon group. Thanks so much, guys. We are very, very happy you're here with us. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. If you might like that like button for us, leave us a comment down below, and please, please, please hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way. And if you'd like to see a full-length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or watching, please check out a link in the description below to our Patreon page. Every time when I get to this point, Hiccups. I get hiccupy. I, I will hiccupy <laughs> you there, too. Um, you will have to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service. You'll only see, hear us, see and hear us for copyright purposes. We're also watching 30 Raw because of Patreon exclusive. All right. For those of you back with us on our Patreon, welcome back, guys. We're gonna, well, we are getting to the end of Season 2 here, aren't we? We are, yeah. Was it 19? Mm -hmm. We're going to start Episode 19 here, guys, in 3, 2, 1. You're giving us a check? No more free drinks. I don't even know you have. <laughs> no more free drinks. And I got out of my room. You guys, come on, show me <laughs> respect. This is my job. Nick, I saw you pee in the register. Yeah. What? Okay, it's about time I had a little responsibility. <laughs> yeah, he could easily get fired for that. Yeah. <laughs> to take a drink, leave a drink. Yeah. Well, just giving his friends free alcohol yeah, at the time. Yeah. Oh, there oh, it is. Yeah. She's like, responsibility? Okay. Now the, now the song makes sense. What? I want him. <laughs> <laughs> bar it's making me want him more is that like a thing no yes it's something no one's ever up. been yeah. attracted to power and success <laughs> yeah so thank you yeah feels really good do you guys know where the iron is get out no. i want, want to iron my button down get out Nick. i want to iron my button down Wait a minute. get out what is going on with you the iron really did it yeah <laughs> he irons his clothes too right Hey. hey guys, this is Shane. This is my new manager. Oh, got it. I'm really excited to have her here. We're really <laughs> yeah. getting this place in order. We're, uh... Oh. All right. Well, that's not professional. <laughs> yeah. God, I can't stop thinking about the other night. I mm -hmm. hope you gave that bar an extra wipe down. <laughs> oh, my God. Opposite of everyone I went to business school with. I mean, look at you. You're just you're so real. Yeah. There's the flip side of that coin. Yeah. Some people are attracted to the opposite of success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but seriously, seriously get, get back, back to, to work. work. Yeah. yeah. I know this isn't going to end well, but the whole middle part is going to be awesome. <laughs> the middle part? I like that he knows that because yeah. we all knew it too. Yeah. Drinking that. It is. Tasty. I'm going to take care of this. If I feel down, I come here. I love. I would love that. I love aquariums, oh, yeah. man. I love them. Mind, I've been to the Shed Aquarium in Chicago like three times. Ooh, I love that place. Yeah. yeah. I've never been to one. I'd really want to go. Yeah. So beautiful. Is that one of those Japanese fighting fish? <laughs> Caramel those are sick. stripes, sumptuous lips. Those fish like look like they know they're awesome too. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> California lionfish. Oh, it's perfect. I must have it. Oh. Sadly, sir, you can't. What do you mean can't? It's illegal, sir. This fish is protected by the great state of California. Give me it. And you'd probably kill it too. <laughs> yeah, give me it. I have the things that I want. Sorry about that. Don't look at the fish, kids. You can't have any of them. None of them are for sale. Yeah, Bubba's alive. It is. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> like that happens more than once. Yeah. He's been there before. Oh, you <laughs> Get a punching bag. Schmidt. Oh, my God. Lionfish? A rare beauty. The result of generations of interracial fish breeding. Just undulating in that water with that rock. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> It'd be impossible for me to have it, but I'll get it. She will be mine, and we will create a life together. This right. is about this is about CC, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's about yeah. So you like go on the black market and find a lionfish. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. yeah. You haven't stopped moving since we've been talking. Mm. She hasn't, has she? She's been no. dressing a good night. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> He's having a weird day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 This is the funniest she's been, this is just funny. watching him do things. Yeah. Yeah. Yank that chain. Yank it. Oh. <laughs> Yank it. I feel like Russell Crowe in every movie he's ever done. Right. <laughs> every movie he's ever done. Drive drill, new nut wrench. Oh my god. Quick hardening cock. You don't want to wait forever for that cock to harden. Loop for drill. <laughs> <laughs> we can't repeat that one. Just remember, 
You caught him pleasuring himself <laughs> to a mail order steak catalog. Oh my god. I hope that's true. Look at my phone! <laughs> Look at this big old pipe! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh my god. That's how somebody dies in real life, right? It's like a Final Destination movie. It really is, yeah. Hey, Jess. Oh, that shit looks rough. I got some hot soup. I feel good. Guess he feel good. <laughs> she might have a broken jaw, too. <laughs> right. You are a beautiful white man, Nick Miller. Okay. <laughs> Riddle Bella. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jilly Gala. Yeah, so it's the pills. <laughs> 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 that's low. Go. Yeah, good for Nick. Yes, yeah. What oh. little thing you went to my house? Oh! oh. 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 I put my head in the hot soup. Oh, you are. Oh. 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 So now they're both injured. You're right. Yeah. Look at that shiner. Not cool. If somebody messes with my boy. That means we mean business. <laughs> <laughs> you doing this? Tell me we're not talking about Jess. And you had no idea that's how she felt. Like, no idea. You thought the door was closed. I would say it's the painkillers. Yeah. In this case, it's not, but still. Or, but had I known that the first door was open, that's the door I wanted to walk through. Okay, I would have walked through. We've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the pills. Yeah. 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 Feel it. The doctor's got him so goofy on these painkillers. It's like it never happened. It's like it never happened. Yeah. But I sure got a chin shiner. <laughs> 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 Chin shiner. You guys, uh, no, no, you, nah, you, I, you, I, you should rest. Yeah, yeah girl, you gotta shake that face. Yeah, hey, shake that face. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thanks, guys. Look, Dad, is she's not really interested, and in, even though she is, yeah. But wait till she's in her right mind and see if she's and yeah. see if she, where she thinks. Then, yeah. Two hours trying to steal an illegal fish. Yeah, I think you have to go deeper than that, guys. Right there, I see something. Lion fish. Cinema. Is that Tupperware out there? Ah, what jellyfish! The? What? Oh, I got stung by jellyfish. Oh, no. Is everybody gonna be beat up by the end of this I, episode? Lee. Ah, what do I do? I need you to pee on my face. What? <laughs> it's a myth. Is that a myth? I don't think. I don't know. And not pee on your face. It'll sterilize the wound. Pee in the ocean? Yeah. Look. Disgusting. Okay. okay. Look. Look. I know this is a dumb question, but will number two help? <laughs> 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 what if number two help? Oh, fuck. Profit on nachos. Guys' night is genius. Right. $22 profit on nachos. I don't know how to do around here to get a bucket of nachos. Uh, right here. Right here. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Little idea, man. It's so full of ideas. She just slapped your ass. Good work. Why don't you go get us some ice, Big Bob? Just slap my butt, Big Bob. Butler, fire me off. Fire me off. That? Oh, you got right up in there. <laughs> right up in there. I'm sorry, Jess. Why, I mean, why are you sorry? You're a free man. He is a free man. Yeah. Getting some stank on it. Did you really... <laughs> some stank on it. Hey, Mrs. Jess. My roommate, say the She's word. my, uh... Roommate, say it. Room, friend, Nick. Jess, Joker's Joker. doing a bad job here. I'm sleeping with Nick, too. <laughs> Left me a voicemail from the ambulance. He was rambling a lot, but I brought him this. Whoa, where'd you get that? You know, one of the perks of being a model, you get to meet a lot of sketchy people. <laughs> That's probably true, yeah. Listen, I think it might be good for him if you just gave him some space. I think that's really good advice, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that's really good advice. Yeah. He's waking up. You should go. Okay. It's a good friend right there. Winston's awesome. Yeah. He is the rock. He really yeah. is. I just realized something. It was never about a fish. Yes. A metaphor. <laughs> it was about Cece. Yeah, yeah, I remember telling him that. You did it. <laughs> it is a really cool Hello, fish. Hello, fish, Cece. I'm gonna put you back in the sea. I'm sorry, what? Look, Winston, I don't know if it was the jellyfish's venom or the paramedic's urine, but it made me. It's <laughs> not paramedic's urine. Uh, but no. that don't he's go gonna to the flush ocean. it? That does not go to the no, ocean. No, don't do that. 
does not go to the ocean. Do not flush that poor fish. <laughs> That's why you were more attracted to me? Wait a second. I thought it was attractive That's that you why? were trying. You're a freaking gold digger, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> gold digger. She'd still be with Russell. Yeah. <laughs> digger in the You're world. You're a freaking gold no, digger. No, I'm not, I'm Nick. so disappointed Shut in you. Shut up. <laughs> Just make out. Yeah, this is where we're going. Improve it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Careful, mind the aquarium. I see it, right? Yo, this is not the time to talk. That is the stupid. Oh my god. Oh no. Is that clownfish in there? No, no. He, they, it's probably still the hospital. That was the lionfish. Remember once he got a clownfish earlier? Oh, yeah. That clown I forgot dead, about that. Yeah. yeah, Nemo's dead. I don't want to be called. What did you know? I'm not cleaning it up. I'm not cleaning it up. She's got to leave it. Let's wait and see what happens here. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah. Okay, so we're not there yet. <laughs> Baby steps. Yeah. Just Careful. dump it. What? It's not about me. Kidding me. Oh. Stay alive! <laughs> By just, God. Just the water and dump it. What a fish death. <laughs> that was. You know what? I, that I think episode was a lot of fun. That was my favorite. So that was a far. great episode. It's my favorite of season two. I, I feel like when we have a really good episode like that, it just flies by. Yeah. yeah. It felt like 10 minutes. That, it did, right? That yeah. was that was a lot. That was hilarious all the way through. All four characters got to shine in that episode a lot. <laughs> Freaking Winston's... What a number two. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like Russell Crowe in every movie he's ever made. Ever. <laughs> yeah. You know, the chain thing. <laughs> Pull it, the old lady. Yeah, yeah. Pull it. Pull that chain. God, that was so good. Um, <laughs> and, and you know what? I feel like Winston was the big hero in the episode. Yeah, he, he was. He was yeah. there for Schmidt to help him. It was stupid the whole way, right? Everything yeah. Schmidt was doing was dumb. So, but Winston didn't fight with him. He's like, no. "I'm going to help you get to the other other end of this process," and he did. They're like, oh, I, now I realize it was a metaphor. You don't say it's a metaphor. Yeah, it, it, it I was mean, subtle. Yeah, it was so, <laughs> so subtle. I mean, you, you have, you you really figured it out, Schmidt. <laughs> but he was just there for him. And and what he told Cece, I really liked. You know what I mean? That yeah. was like really is like, dude, you're getting married. He's in love with you. Just yeah. give him a little space. It's which is the right movie. answer. She didn't yeah. Know that. Right. I mean, I'm sure she does. But well, you know. I, I I'm kind of wondering if it's because secretly that she's not done with Schmidt either. You know what I mean? Like, there, there's no good yeah. reason to still like. I mean, Schmidt broke up with her. He's been after her ever since it's been really weird he's he's even gone over the line and been creepy about they've it at times up. they've hooked up since this, uh, before she found her fiance right whose name yeah yeah me. i don't remember his name yeah he's very forgettable <laughs> that, guy. <laughs> that guy yeah um but I, I i think the reason she's still hanging around with schmidt is that she knows that she should she would rather be with schmidt yeah i think so i think she's doing the uh she's you know, marrying this guy because that's what her parents want. Right, it's a run. It's a runaway ability. thing. Right, she yeah. wants to get married and have kids. Right, and I don't. Well, I mean, Schmidt blew it. First of all, Schmidt blew it. Yeah, it's on him. He broke up with her. They had a relationship. Yeah, she was in. So even with his boss, whenever he was, uh, remember they're doing the vodka testing. Yeah, tasting vodka, and that was the night they were supposed to, you know, have that date. Yeah. It's not really his fault that at that time. I feel like he could have texted him like, "Hey, I we're trying right. to stay by at yeah. work. This is why we're doing this." It's it's a really dumb reason to not be together, but right. you know, here we are. Communication would have helped. Yeah. Um. But yeah. No, no. Um. I mean, you can't really hate Schmidt. No. Every single character on the show, with the possible exception of Winston, seems to be really struggling to grow up a little bit, which is one of the great things about the show, right? Yeah. I love the fact that these are people hit, you know, that are about to hit thirty or around in that age group. Um, that are like, we still don't have it figured out because that's real. Yeah. You know, this idea that, you know, you finish high school, no. you go to college, you're 22. And it's like, wow, I've got my perfect job and my future spouse. I've, I figured all of life out and I'm 22 years old. That's not realistic. It probably never was. Some people but they can actually, pull it off. Yeah, some people do. Yeah. That's yeah. Not, yeah. I don't, I don't make a blanket statement that it never does, but it's also pretty common not to, right? Yeah, to sure. still be figuring out your life. Way down the line, like I'm still still a work in process or progress you know, for for a lot of people. Everybody is. It's just right. how you wear it. You yeah, absolutely. I mean? Yeah, even people that are like married at 22, it's like a family and a mortgage. Right. You know what I mean, it's like good for you, but 
there's something there still. Sure. I feel like we're constantly evolving. We're constantly right. figuring ourselves out. And these guys, it's so nice that they can do it together. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, and it, it's nice that they, you know, it's, it's, it's cool to have a show where they express it. Because <laughs> most of the time when you're that person that's trying to, you know, like, it, it feels alienating, I would think. Like, I'm the yeah. one 30-year-old that still hasn't figured out who I want to be for the rest of my life. So you kind of internalize it and, yeah. you, and you date and, and you just kind of struggle through your life. Whereas these four are like together Much and like spits yeah and, and they talk about it and they you know they repress but then they they they, they overshare and you know so there's always like steps that they're taking right healthy sure. ones i i feel like even when they're like ridiculous like um nick and jess here mm-hmm. where they're screaming at each other but they still can't deny their attraction <laughs> i feel like that's part of the process of working through what they're sure. really feeling you know it's it, it's to- some of it's toxic and most of it's fun but it's, it's still conventional it, it, absolutely yeah. but it's still a process of working through their issues and i'm, I'm here for it i am too man i i, I like this episode so much because <laughs> this has been a great run winston and schmidt they have just like Felt like they've had the closer friendship, even though apparently Nick and Winston are the closer friends. You think Nick and Winston are? I, I feel like Nick like, and Schmidt like go back to college. I feel like that's more than well, Nick and Winston grew up together. Remember the, the yeah, yeah, they, they they did. Yeah, so they grew up together. But like Nick and Schmidt, just, or Winston and Schmidt, just have this like chemistry. Right. You know, kind of like how how Jess and Nick do. Sure. Usually when we have like the episodes where the two characters like the four characters split up, that's how it's coupled. Sure. It's Schmidt and Winston. And then it's Nick and Jess doing something crazy. You know what I mean? And, and I, I really enjoy that. I really like that formula. I think it works. Um, when they do switch things up, when you do have like a a Nick and Winston episode, it's fun. Sure, absolutely. But I think this is a staple. I think they figured that formula out, and I think it works really, really well. Yeah, and I think uh, Winston gets underappreciated on the show for as far as being the best friend to everybody. He is the rock of the friend group. Because with, with what he did here, it makes me think about – when Nick decided he wanted to write his zombie, his zombie novel, and he and he stays up all night working, and instead of sleeping, goes with Nick to the zoo so Nick can get drunk at the so zoo, he so he can feel like Hemingway. Yeah, <laughs> um, that is that is Winston being an MVP, which he does all the time. He really is kind of yeah. in a lot of ways, and he showed it here again. The backbone of the four, like whenever somebody has to really step up and be the grown up, like mm-hmm. emotionally, it's usually him. Not not exclusively. Everyone has has their moments of that. Sure. But I feel like Winston seems to be the most comfortable with who he is. And even he's still a work in progress, right? He can't figure out what he wants to do with his life. He can barely talk to women. Yeah, he can barely talk to women. <laughs> you know, he, he, obviously he still he still has his areas that, uh, of, of, you know, growth. Yeah. But I really do feel like when it, when it comes down to somebody needs to step in and say, look, guys – Here's what's happening, <laughs> and here's what probably should happen. Yeah. He seems to be the most consistent about that of, of the four. He is. He's uh, always down to mess with somebody, but still, it's well. No, Prank Winston is my favorite character on the show. I like. I love the ski. I like uptight sh- when, when Schmidt's uptight about things like <laughs> your food and like cleanliness. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I, I love when, when when Nick's at his grumpiest. Hey kids, don't trust don't trust your government. You know, I love that kind of stuff <laughs> with, with with him. I love I love this. Like Jess is really struggling with oh, with her man. feelings. She's she and, and and she gets awkward about it, trying to 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 compensate for how she expresses them. Yeah, You're like you know, like she was with. This one, she was great, but God, prank Winston, I think is is the most consistently like fall off the couch hilarious he, when he gets oh in prank man. mode. Like I'm gonna hit him, hit him in the neck with a ski. It's it's insane. Oh my God, he's he's great. He's the best man. I, I really wish he was in more stuff. All, all all these actors, I just love hanging out with them. It's yeah, so much fun. Yeah, this this was a perfectly cast television show as far as the chemistry with the cast goes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, guys, we've talked a long time on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. See.